Hi, Manish Mehta with the New York Daily News previewing Week 12. The 8-2 and two Jets playing host of the Cincinnati Bengals on Thanksgiving night. Here are the three keys to the game. First and foremost, the Jets have to establish their running attack. Over the first seven games, the Jets didn't have a game where they averaged fewer than four yards a carry. In the last three games, those numbers have dipped. Last week against the Texans, just 3.3 yards a carry. But I think the Jets will be able to take advantage of a Bengals run defense that ranks 25th in the league in yards per carry. They're giving up 4.4 yards per run. You know, they got a, a good front four. Um, linebackers will run around and make plays, so it, it's going to be a challenge for us. Um, and, you know, it, it's going uh, be a, a fun game come Thursday. These guys are believing in me. They're, they're feeding off of the energy that I, I bring to this team. Um, the things that are going on, we're just looking forward to keep building, you know, come February. It's been a product of all of us working on those situations, working on our two-minute drills, knowing that at the end of the game we need to be our very best. And, and it's been obvious guys have been sharp with their routes. And uh, I've been doing my best to give them a chance to make plays, and, and we've all done a good job of that, of, of tightening up protection, um, you know, quickening up the routes, and me trying to get the ball out as fast as possible. So it's been a, it's been a team effort, and we're, we're very proud and confident, you know, going into this game. Secondly, the Jets' cornerback tandem of Darrell Rivas and, and Antonio Cromartie will have to shut down Chad Ochocinco and Terrell Owens, who have combined for 112 catches on the season. T.O. looks reborn this season. Almost 900 yards receiving and eight touchdowns. Earlier in the year, of course, T.O. likened Revis and Cromartie to Ren and Stimpy. When Cromartie was asked about that this week, he said he frankly doesn't care. He's out to take care of business. Terrell Owens, I'm called me and uh, Revis, uh, Ren and Stimpy. So, I mean, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. You know, and uh, uh, I'm going to like, like this. It ain't going to be personal. It's going to be, it's going to be business. So. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to it. It's another challenge just, uh, you know, for me and uh, Antonio Camardi. Uh, we just cover these guys. Um, we, we, we're both familiar with, with both of the receivers. And, uh, you know, we just got to stick to the game plan and uh, do what we do best and, and cover them. And finally, the Jets are going to have to clean up the defensive communication lapses they had last week against the Texans when they gave up a 16-point fourth-quarter lead before Mark Sanchez and company bailed them out. We got kind of a bad taste in our mouth from that that little rough stretch we had there in the fourth quarter. So it's good to get back at it and uh, you know go out there and, and step our game up. This is a still a, a good defense. Um, you know, we still have an opportunity to end up where we want to end up. Got six games to prove it. This week is start. You know, game number one.